How can we help to reduce painful episodes in individuals with sickle cell disease? With simple daily habits and support, we can make a big difference in the lives of individuals and families affected by this condition. One of the most important ways to prevent a crisis is staying hydrated. People with sickle cell disease should drink water regularly throughout the day. Drinking more water during hot weather, exercise, or illness is especially important as dehydration makes the blood thicker and more likely to cause pain. Next, we need to help protect them from extreme temperatures. Cold weather causes blood vessels to tighten, and heat increases the risk of dehydration. We can support by ensuring warm clothing is available, avoiding sudden temperature changes, and creating comfortable indoor environments. Stress and exhaustion can also trigger pain crises. We can support by encouraging rest, reducing unnecessary pressure, and allowing flexible schedules when needed. Teaching simple calming techniques, like deep breathing, can also help reduce stress. Infections can quickly trigger a crisis. That's why vaccinations, regular health checkups, and early treatment for fevers are so important. Community members can help by encouraging good hygiene, sharing accurate health information, and supporting families in getting timely medical care. Many people with sickle cell disease take medications like hydroxyurea to reduce crises. We can encourage them to take their medicine regularly and help remove stigma or misinformation about treatment. A balanced diet, staying active at a comfortable level, and avoiding smoking are also key. We can support by promoting healthy foods, safe recreation spaces, and smoke-free environments. High altitudes and low oxygen settings can worsen sickling. We should help individuals understand risks and plan ahead, especially for travel or intense physical activities. Finally, regular medical visits help prevent complications. Families and communities can support by helping with transportation, childcare, or reminding loved ones about appointments. In summary, preventing vaso-occlusive crises requires daily habits, good medical care, and strong community support. When families, schools, neighbors, and workplaces work together, we can help people living with sickle cell disease lead safer, healthier, and more comfortable lives. Thank you for being part of the solution.